How's everybody doing today? So, I've been working on a little bit of a project lately. This is an old Oliver 1800A. This is the first model that Oliver made with the inline six. Uh, you're more than welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I take that back, actually. I think the 88 series, they had inline six diesel in them, but they look like they're full, legit, like full size tractor because the A, the 1800A came out before the 4010, and that was like late 1959, 60s area. So I'm assuming it's like a 55, 58, somewhere in there. But uh, we ended up buying it from an old farmer and uh, ended up, we farmed with it a whole last year, mowed about 100 acres of hay with it, and uh, did pretty good for just only running on about seven and a half cylinders and on the high range transmission. And the two speed is, uh, well, she's effed pretty much. <laughs> uh, it'd be about $2,000 to rebuild just that. So we just threw it back together and forget about it. We're hoping it will get by with it. I know it's not right, but right now money is tight because we poured this money into this head and these heads are getting obsolete and almost every single Oliver head you get is uh, cracked or just it just shows wear. So ended up getting a whole new gasket kit from uh, from a local parts store here. It's a Mayball tractor. They got all this stuff for the uh, Oliver's uh, uh, yeah Oliver's uh, cock shut um, case. You name it. So. I just got her back together, torqued down, had all the uh, valves adjusted properly. Surprised it ran at all for how bad the valves were. <laughs> so, oh, new oil pan. Uh, I had to patch an oil pan on it. It had a hole in it. I put a new oil pan gasket. Um, the only thing I do need to get yet is uh, a rear main seal. And this is old enough that it's got a cork um, gasket on the end of it. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. Instead of it having a rubber overing going around in behind there, it's just uh, just the cork in there inside of the cast or the steel piece that's bolted onto the back. And you can't really tell it's dark. But yeah, this is what's been going on lately, all winter long. I haven't had much time to work on the pulling tractor because it's effed pretty bad. And uh, but you know, farming comes first, you know. So, but yeah. We got the two-speed fixed on the transmission, so we have we have both neutrals again. We only had we only had the high neutral uh, there for a little while because that's all it would work. We go on the low, and um, it was just grind and carry on. And we turned found out here the low and high uh, neutral gear in there that would that would lock it into high or low was uh, half stripped away, and the handle that moved it, the claw that held it in place um, to where when you shifted it with the shifter was uh, half broke off. So that would do it. <laughs> so $250 later for a new gear and a finger, a uh, new, seat, new seat bracket to hold that in place and she's good to go again. So, uh, but yeah, so I might, post, I might get another video uploaded on this thing. I'm not sure yet. Thank God for Space Heater because this is the only way we're able to work on it right now. Because right now it's, right now it is like 18, 17 degrees outside. And it's going to get about single, the probably minus digits tonight. So here in the good old states of Ohio, it's cold. So, so yeah. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming. Look at that. That's just pretty. I love new gaskets. I love opening them up in the package because it's like a Christmas present. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, the injection pump is also getting worked at at Mayball Tractor. Um, it, he, he called me. That was another $700 right there. Don't have the money for it quite yet. <laughs> so we're going to go and pick it up here hopefully soon, here over the next day or so, uh, once we get uh, money coming in from the farm and see what we got after paying bills and whatnot. So, I mean, hey, I'm just going to tell you guys straight, you know, I mean, Old tractors like these, it, it takes money and and a buddy. So, well, thanks for watching, and we'll go from there.
stay tuned for more videos.